All right, guys, as you can see, I did end up putting a Gen 4 OEM trigger housing. You can definitely do that. There's no issue. All you got to do is snip the tabs on the bottom and it'll work. Um, I doubt that has any issues with this. But like I said, I'm going to go and... Use a little bit of flits and uh, there we go. Use a little bit of flits and finish it off with a little bit of mothers. And I'm gonna polish the locking block up. And as you can see, I mean, you can see some wear wear marks on this thing. And I'm gonna polish up the rails a little bit. And I can almost guarantee that that, that may solve my issue. Now, once I do that, I'll re-oil things up and, you know, see where that goes. So let me get this stuff set up and I'll be right back. All right, as you can see, I put a little bit of the blue masking tape around here. I just don't want to get these bevel, like the stippling and all that stuff, uh, dirty with uh, polishing compound. You don't have to do this step. I just decided to do it right now, last minute. I was like, screw it. Um, but yeah, you see, I got my Dremel. Every at home gunsmith's best friend right here. <laughs> so you don't need a lot, just a little dab of this stuff goes a long way. Just kind of rub it on here. Doesn't take a lot of effort, just there we go. I do this with the flits first and finish it off with the mothers. Let's try to clean it up. And make it a little bit smoother. I've actually done this on OEM Glocks before too. Not that it needed it, but you know, I like my shit shiny. And as you see, that's why I put a little bit of tape there too. You can take your time with it and just work at it. You can already see how much shinier it is. Let's turn that off. You can see how much shinier it already is with that little bit of amount compared to how it was. So I'm gonna turn this off, work on all four of them, and I'll get back to you guys. So if you look a little closely, you can tell there's a there's some marring lines where it's the slide is rubbing on these rails. So I got these two sides done. Now I'm gonna get these two on the side. Now, if I have to, I'm gonna sand these by hand, try to take off a slight amount of material and then repolish, but that's only if this polishing doesn't solve my issue. Again, I'm gonna also polish up the locking block. See where the barrel is rubbing on there. The locking lug on the barrel. 
I'm gonna just polish the top off too a little bit. So, let's get back to work guys. All right guys, so I just finished polishing this stuff up. As you can see the rails are a lot shinier now. See that glare from the light. And uh, also the locking, blo uh, locking block. <laughs> polished and buffed that out as well as you can see gave it a nice little mirror polish that's how it was looking originally I just polished the touch points down here right here and I just did the top just to be safe so what I'm gonna do is instead of using the oil this time I'm gonna put a little dab of grease rub a light layer of grease on there I'm a grease guy. I know with carbon, it can all stick up and everything like that. But to each their own, you know, I like to use both. I mean, depends on the day. But with this, I, I kind of want it to glide a little bit more. So I'm going to try a little bit of grease this time because I did use oil last time. So let me do that and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So got it back assembled. Got a very, very thin layer of grease. So, put a little bit more grease around the rails. And I'm just using a Q tip to dab. Just a little dab. See, it doesn't take a lot, just small dabs. And let's hope this works. Already feels a lot smoother actually. Still a little bit more. doing it so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna order an OEM recoil spring and see if that solves my issue As you can see it's still getting caught up and it should not be doing that That's only if I do it slow enough. It's still dragging, but. If I rack it back and do it like it's supposed to, it's working fine. So. Since I carry my builds, and I plan to carry this eventually, I want to make sure everything is right. So I'm going to replace the recoil spring, and hopefully that will solve my issue right there. Um, doesn't look like there's any slide drag from the connector. I may have to do a little bit of level sanding on the rails, just slightly. And that might even do the, 
do me some justice by just taking a very, very uh, thin, I mean, very light grit sandpaper and just taking a little bit of material off. Do a little bit on the shark fin right here, you know. That might do it, but until next time, guys, thank you for watching. I like when there's issues like this. It makes the build a lot funner and gives us uh, opportunity to teach. Learn and teach at the same time because I know I'm not the only one having this issue. I'm sure many builders are having these issues. But guys, thanks for watching. By the way, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Uh, you can purchase this frame along with the slide and everything else, except for that comp from Brownells. You can use BOP10 to get 10% off your purchase of 150 or more. Also, I'll drop down my uh, link tree. You can find my affiliates and where to find me in that link tree. So please go subscribe, uh, go follow me on Instagram. I have two pages. You can find them both on the link tree. And also, I wanna give a big shout out to Freedom Crew University. Freedom Crew University is the only place you could find help, a classroom environment, one-on-one, -on -one, step by step on how to build your firearm. And also we teach you how to assemble them and troubleshoot them. If you're having any issues or anything like that, go to Freedom Crew University. It's also in my link tree. Enrolling in the university today. You can sign up for a class with me or some of the best builders in the nation. I'll put in their pictures right here, right now, so you can see who else is teaching. But guys, <clears throat> Freedom Crew University is the next revolutionary big thing to hit the web. As you can see, YouTube won't allow us to do that kind of stuff anymore. But again, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Keep an eye out. Hit that uh, notifications button so you don't miss any other videos. Take care, everybody.